Hi everyone, Monday the 8th of September, um, I am at the allotment, um, I've got a few things to show you, um, I'm going to pull some carrots, the first time the cover's been off the carrots, so I'm going to pull a few of them, um, and I might pull one of the leeks, okay, I'll show you around. Right, all of the French beans and runner beans are now drying off nicely, showed you them last time, starting to rustle a little bit. Um, there you go, okay so you can see the beans, not as big as they was last year, but still quite good. Um, I have got um, a couple of parsnips left, which are right at the end where that buzzer is, I know and everybody laughs about that buzzer, but it seems that the ones at the end where the buzzer is are okay, so I might get four of them. Um, out of it. Right, let me just show you. Let me try and get the sun behind me because I think that's a bit. It's probably a bit better, is it? That's it. Okay, Sluriac. Now, we're going to be taking some. I'm going to be taking some of this home this weekend because it needs to start getting used. But look at this. This is one of my success stories this year is this celery. And I did well on it last year, but nothing like this. You know, look at it now, and I showed you last time. It's huge. Okay, the Romanovs are hearting up big time now. I'm going to take some home probably tomorrow, and I'm going to make some coleslaw with it, with one of the carrots that hopefully I'm going to pull in a minute <laughs> that are going to be okay, and the bottoms have not all been nibbled off. Um, Nero de Toscana. Right, here we go. So the cover's off. Uh, you can see what I've done. I'm still going to keep it on for a few weeks, because I know... People are saying a bit different with the answers about the carrot root fly season, so I'm going to keep it on until maybe the end of um, until mid October ish. Right now, then, I'm hoping I don't have the trouble that Andy had at his allotment trying to pull these carrots up. <laughs> so you'll have to excuse me here. Whoa, look at that straight away. I'll tell you what. Right, let me pull that one. Drum roll. Hey! <laughs> Look at that! Not bad for a lad, that. Considering I had none last year. Alright, it's split a little bit, but these went out in March. And I haven't picked them for fear of taking this cover off. But there's no sign of root fly damage on that whatsoever. I am happy with that. Let's pull another. Have a look. Here's a good one. It looks like a good one. Oh, yep. oh snapped. <laughs> what do we do with that? Oh, I'll have to get that up with the thingy in a bit. Right, okay, let's try this one. Now then, look at that. It's almost a bunch of them. This is because I've not thinned them, isn't it? You're all going to tell me now. Okay, so let's get them out. Okay, so that, they all kind of came up in a bunch. But again, you know, I'm happy with that. I'm learning, you know, maybe the soil next year. Obviously, I didn't put any compost in it, any manure. But, you know, I'm happy with that. I can use them. I'm quite sure. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, leeks. I'm probably not going to pull one of these now, because not knowing me, I'll snap it like I've just done with that bloody... Um, Carrot. One of them's died right back. And I don't know what's going on with that one. Let's pull that one. Yeah, that's not bad, and that one's even that's one that's died back. So doing okay. Happy with that. So yeah, got some carrots. Right then, my Achilles eel. Actually, hang on, let me show you what I've started to... I've started to take off my chilies. Uh, I'm going to start drying them out. Um, and then I can obviously get them blitzed. If we need fresh ones, I'll just take them. But I obviously want to dry um, quite a few of them. Uh, this bit, section of the thing here, I've just been doing a load of pulling weeds up. You've probably all seen this before. This is my Achilles heel. This is I hate this bit. But it's all coming up soon, 
the kids are back at school now. I can start getting a bit of work done on it. The compost bins are going to come out and I'm going to rebuild them. Uh, they're doing the job, it's all going in, but it's just this. If you look at the state of this, you know, compared to what I've got down there, it's a bit embarrassing. But it'll all come out, it'll all be done, and I've got the time to do it now. Sweet corn's up, sadly. Uh, collard greens are pushing this thing right off now. The gherkins are gone, that's where the tomatillos are going next year. I might even put two tomatillos, one there, and I'll build another frame there. But yeah, so the compost bins are all going to come out. I'm going to redo all that bit. Okay, greenhouse, quickly. Still got flowers coming on the aubergines. I've still got little aubergines coming. Uh, I've got obviously got big ones on. Look at that. Two crackers there. There's an even better one. So, doing okay with that. Now, see all the top new growth? None of it's been eaten. Maybe the odd nibble compared to the growth underneath. And it's exactly the same with the chilies. Especially the chilies that are here in the, um, uh, in the, in the border. So you see all the top new growth. Look at that. So I'm assuming all the caterpillars are gone if you compare it to that. Okay, so you see they've all started going red now, all the chilies. Um, I've started taking them off. Uh, I'd rather them go red on the plant because apparently that, that's what makes them hotter. But I've got tons on, absolutely tons. And they're all changing colour now, all going red. So I'm happy with that, very happy. So that's my next job, everyone. I'm going to get some um, weed membrane. The, the stuff that I found at the back of the, uh, the shed is now almost gone. So that is my winter project. Okay, guys, that's seven minutes. I want to keep you all in HD. I'll speak to you all soon, guys.